And it all comes down to this, the final of the UEFA Women's Champions League. It is Liverpool, and they take on Arsenal. The instructions will have been clear from the managers, Derek. Stick to the game plan, don't take risks in your defending third, and embrace the occasion. Don't be frightened of it. What a game this should be. And this is how Liverpool start the game. Well, it looks as though they're going to go with a 5-4-1. But the wing-backs will get forward when they can, and the two wide midfield players will join the striker, which will then make it a the Arsenal starting 11. Well, it'll be interesting to see how the wingers play today. Will they stay high and wide? Will they come in field and support the centre forward? And how deep will they come out of possession? They're going to be key to this formation. And so the battle commences. Holland <laughs> Leah Williamson <laughs> Williamson they do pass the ball with authority. Stina Blackstenius. And there to intervene. Holland. Now with Nagano. Fukan Nagano. Encouraging move from Liverpool. Can they forge ahead? That is a very fine challenge in difficult circumstances. Stina Blackstenius. Leah Williamson. Kim Little. A really top-notch piece of defending. Intense pressure. Well, it looked highly promising, but they got nothing out of it. Laura Wienreuter. Looking for that final pass, looking for the goal that would put them ahead. It might be the moment to get them ahead. Oh, there it is! Arsenal hit the front in the final, and just listen to their supporters. Exactly what they were hoping for. Well, here's the replay, and that's the perfect outcome. Right into the corner and in off the post. That's a very good goal.
Well, the ball is moving once more. How important will that opening goal prove to be? Melissa Lawley. And it's with Holland. Extremely sloppy in possession. On attacking possibilities. Looked as though she was one step ahead of her opponent. Blackstenius. Waiting for support. Oh, what an opportunity! Oh, a goal it is! The equaliser in this final! What next in the drama? Well, here it is again. The little one-two starts it all off. And just look at that finish. 1v1 against the keeper, and she hits it with power. It's a great goal. Back underway. Level pegging. One goal apiece in this game. Mornum, Blackstenius, nicely timed tackle. Well, the stats don't lie. Arsenal had most of the possession, but it's been a frustrating performance from them so far. They just haven't had enough guile in the final third all been a bit too predictable which has to change if they want to win this one and the whistle is sounded for half time in this game Away they go again. Second half is underway here. And beating her opponent. Still level here, but the pressure escalating. Could play it in. Can they take the lead here? Making sure nothing untoward happened. Superb tackle. And it's with Holland. On to Nagano. Magnificent challenge to win it back. Must take the lead here. Big chance it is. And thumped away. Fukan Nagano. Really doing a fine job of protecting the ball. Oh, a lovely incisive pass. Oh, remarkable save. Well, it's great reflexes from the goalkeeper. She had no right to make that save. And the emphasis is on creativity. But they took care of the situation defensively. McCabe. Blackstenius. Williamson. Well, that's how to do it inside your own penalty area. Nagano. Fukan Nagano. 
Campbell on the ball. Just 20 minutes remaining now. And promising stuff from Arsenal. Opportunity to deliver the cross. Oh, she's made a crucial tackle there. Melissa Lawley. And it's with Holland. Well, that's really strong play to keep hold of the ball. Arsenal doing well to regain possession. Liverpool try to click into an attacking gear with the game level in the closing moments. Blackstenius. Now, do they mean business on this occasion? Timely intervention. Five minutes to go. No space for them here. And space available inside. High quality defending. Steph Catley. McCabe. Now with Catley. And one minute of stoppage time has been added on. They cannot be separated here, and it's on to extra time. Well, the ball rolling again, no end to the action. It's the first period of extra time, and I must say, this has been a back-and-forth type of game. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. Stina Blackstenius. Well, showing everyone her abilities in possession. Well, the fans want her to take on the shot. Committed challenge. McCabe. Now with Nagano. It's a weighted pass. What a genuine opportunity, but it was squandered. Goal kick. Kim Little. An encouraging Arsenal move. A classic example of how to intercept. Not a huge chunk of added time. One minute. Half time in extra time, and still they are level. Well, who is going to come out on top? Let's see if we find out in the second period of extra time. Really good attacking play. Can she put it away? Oh, really commanding goalkeeping. Well, I thought that was the game. Fantastic work by the keeper just to keep them in this. Ford. 
Well, they still have designs on the win. Oh, a golden opportunity for her. It has to be, surely. Oh, a goal! Late drama here. And surely that's one hand on the trophy. So little time left for a response now. Well, here it is again, and it's really poor defending. They just don't show enough urgency to get tight or make a block, which is why the ball's ended up in the back of their net. A big moment in the dying embers. Will it prove decisive here? On the ball in an attacking position, but they've got to do something positive quickly. Spot on with that tackle. And it will be goalkeeper's ball. One minute of stoppage time has been added on. And there goes the final whistle. The cup issue is settled. A story of one side celebrating and the other distraught. Memories are being made. Well, just look at those scenes down there, Derek. What a contrast in emotions. Brilliant for the winners, despair for the losers. But overall, the right team won today. Yeah, you can see what it means to this tight-knit team. Real solidarity. Well, this is special for everybody at the club. What a great moment for any young player. And this is what you dream about when you start playing football. When you're playing in the playground, you want to win a cup. Brilliant moment. Yes, a special moment in the career of any footballer. And now for the trophy lift itself. The cup winners. Well, you can just see what it means to those players and the manager. That's fantastic stuff. There's always the element of chance in a cup competition. But my goodness, they've taken the rough with the smooth. And now they savour the moment. Four marks to the entire team, and now they get the chance to exhale and enjoy. They've been brilliant in this competition, and so have the fans. They've really got behind their team. They've played a big part in this win. Just look at those 